Many parents worry about what their children may witness if they watch the news. Well, the answer may lie in the first national newspaper for Australian children, Inkling. The paper will launch in April and aims to help teens and young kids understand world events. For more, we're joined by the newspaper's editor, Saffron Howden. You've been busy over the summer break, not a break for you, putting this no, all together. No, I didn't have much of a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> well, in a world where we're sort of seeing the obsolescence of print, going against the trend here, is this an untapped market just waiting to pick up a paper and leaf through it. Absolutely. I think um, I think it's extraordinary, in fact, that Australia hasn't had something like this um, before. Um, and we've had such an amazing response. We've only sort of, our website has only been live for a little over a week. We've had an extraordinary response from around the country. And it's um, it might be unprecedented in Australia, but in some European countries and in the UK, they have kids, very successful kids' papers, and um, they're hugely popular. So tell us about the format of the paper and also how the articles are going to be written. So um, it's a traditional newspaper format. So the idea is to give kids the experience that adults have, um, but with their own paper. Um, it's 16 pages long because catering to kids' attention spans. Um, and it's mostly going to be the news that adults consume, but written in a way um, that children can understand, that they don't find scary, and also importantly they don't find boring, because <laughs> kids find a lot of news pretty boring. Um, so that's the general idea, and then of course um, a lot of contributions from kids, which is the bit I'm really excited about. Mm. So we've got space for book reviews, movie reviews, game reviews, um, which will all be written by kids. And then our opinion section is entirely written by kids. So in our display edition, which we've got out now, um, we've got a couple of articles by a 13 and a 14 year old. They were given no instructions as to what to do. Just tell me, write about something you're passionate about. And one of them wrote about um, the presentation of girls in the media, girls image. And one wrote about Islamophobia. And they're very thought provoking pieces. Really fantastic to read. A great opportunity for kids. So what age group are we talking here as well? So it's targeted at 7 to 14 year olds, mm. um, but it can fall either way of that, but obviously depends on literacy. Yeah. Um, but the idea was to allow kids, who, anyone who can read somewhat, to have access to this. Yep. So it really is filling a, uh, a gap in the market because you, I suppose at 7 to 14 you don't really want children watching news programs where you don't know what's coming up. At least this is targeted. You've got still the same news because it is real news, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. And this is the feedback I've got for so many years as a um, journalist um, that I've got from friends with kids um, and just anyone with children is that their kids are really interested in what's going on in the world. They, you know, they're aware when something like the Paris attacks happen, um, but you don't want to show them a newspaper because, you know, th there graphic are gory, very, yeah, gory mm. details in there and graphic images. So we will be telling those stories, but in a way that removes all of that and also gives it a bit of each of those stories a bit of a bent that um, can engage children better because they do want to know about it and they, they hear their parents talking about it, mm. you know? Mm. I suppose because there's television shows, there's uh, behind the news on ABC and things like that, but no one's actually sort of gone out and put it in actual print. Mm. No, that's news. right. And by the way, behind the news is, is pretty much the only thing that exists. Mm. You, I think you've got a news program as well on ABC3. Um, and behind the news is dearly loved by mm. everyone. And bringing it into the printed paper means that um, there's a bit more engagement so mm -hmm. people can... And the contributions as well from children. Will Absolutely, be very important. So, how can they get their hands on this particular uh, publication? So, it is a subscriber based publication. Um, so, all you've got to do is um, at this stage is visit the website. You can subscribe there. We're um, inklingnews.com.au. And um, we've had a huge response from schools and teachers as well already, despite only being around very briefly. Um, and I know there are a lot of uh, teachers who've written in saying they're already planning a uh, whole school week lessons around becoming an inkling newsroom which is very exciting and how often will it be published the actual... once a week okay once a week and it'll come to people's letterboxes yeah okay fantastic well... address to their kids <laughs> that's fantastic very nice. a lot of work though still underway there i'm sure to get the <laughs> presses rolling but a very exciting time great to thank you so much thank you so much saffron howden editor of inkling news